America the Beautiful, a land of opportunity, a country of freedom, honor, dignity, and justice for all. As parents, we want to leave a brighter future and a legacy of hope for our children. In America, anything is possible. But is the American dream still alive? I'm not a young man. I don't think the America that I live in is anything like the America I was grown up to believe in. I've never felt like true representation. I think there's a lot of shady things that go on behind doors. In politics, it's a bunch of crap. I feel like a lot of the politicians, they base most of their decisions on money. Judy Frankel is a mom for a special needs child. She recognizes a need to change the way our voices are heard in Washington. Judy created writeindependent.org, a nonpartisan website that gives candidates a way to run for office without spending a fortune and gives people a direct line of communication to candidates before they are elected. The vote is the most crucial thing. We need as people to stand up against money and, and politics and vote in people who care about our future and our children's future. And the only way we're going to do that is if we vote into office people who really care about what we as people care about and not about lining their pockets or making the incredibly wealthy corporations rich. We've lost a lot of trust in our government. If power keeps going the way it's going, we corrupt our government and we won't have a government anymore. It'll be run by these powerful corporations and these wealthy individuals instead of the people. What we have to do is look at the politicians that pledge in advance of getting into office that they're going to fix this problem of money and politics. International consulting economist and three-time Republican congressional candidate Peter Burst endorses writeindependent.org. If we don't get big money out of politics, there's less and less reason to pay attention to ordinary folks. Right now, 47% of Congress are millionaires. You know the wealthiest part of the country is the Washington, D.C. district? Do you know that the Washington, D.C. district in contrast to the rest of the country has been immune to the, the downturn forces of the Great Recession. The members of Congress are not suffering at all. You shouldn't run for Congress in order to get rich. <laughs> do you think people are doing that? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> members of Congress do not walk in your shoes. They walk in uh, Gucci loafers. Most members of Congress go there with good intentions. But it's so easy to be co-opted by the system because two years pass pretty quickly and you stop and think, gee, uh, uh, if I don't raise a lot of money, I'll never be reelected in two years and I can't accomplish anything. Americans, we don't have the time to sit down and actually look at who took money from whom and then how they vote. It's somewhat my own fault because I don't pay attention. We don't care enough. We don't care about what's happening to our world. Writeindependent.org does care and makes getting involved easy. The website has an idea page where we the people have the opportunity to post our solutions to current issues. Why do people count so little is because big money has come to count so much. You've got the system now dominated by what I call the four bigs and their close interactions with each other. Big money, big government, big business, and big media. Where is the little guy? Where? is we the people, the first three words of our Constitution. In order for we the people to be heard, we must stop allowing big money to sway the vote in Washington. The strategy? Limits campaign contributions to $100 per person or entity and convince voters to only endorse representatives who have signed her pledge for honest candidates. Judy Frankel from writeindependent.org. You know, that some might call you naive, Judy. I'm the person that makes you feel that anything's possible. Yes, but people are scared. Their 401ks have been depleted. They're worried about their son or daughter finally moving out of the house now that they're 30. People are looking for jobs. They want to know how this relates to them. The most important thing, obviously, is information. So if you want to know who's running in your district and who's signed this pledge, to take money out of politics, you have to have somewhere to go. And what I'm recommending to people is only vote for pledge signers. I signed the pledge because I'm such a firm believer that if we don't get money out of politics, that we will never improve the country. It's that simple. I think it's a it's a tremendous idea. I think that I think that this this money thing has gotten so out of control. It would probably be a lot different. We wouldn't have as many like angry people. Like, it would be more peaceful. It gives me hope that we're trying to look at this idea and, and 
and give it serious consideration. Everything would be different because then we would have more trust in our government. Our country would be totally different, it would be like night and day. Oh, that'd be heaven on earth. To find an honest candidate running in your district, go to writeindependent.org. Click on Candidates and find your state. Then, click on your congressional district. Signers are listed with a red star and sign the pledge by their name. And I'm running for Congress because the country is in a lot of trouble. And the people we have in Congress right now are self-serving and they're never going to correct things. Lincoln said, we here bear the responsibility and have the power. The people have the power. All we have to do is stand up for ourselves and say, I'm not going to take this anymore. That's what we needed the voice. If you stand for a cause and if you like join that cause, like your voice could be heard. And I think nowadays it's extremely important to have a voice. If there was no money in politics, all our votes, every individual out here, their votes would count uh, more. Uh, absolutely. If I have hope, yeah. If you don't have hope, then why, why live? Everybody's voice is important. It starts with one. One person's a start. This building belongs to us. The time is now to put responsive, responsible representatives to work in our government. Ask your candidate to sign the pledge. If they won't sign, let them know that you won't vote for them unless they do. There are two alternatives. Staying on this course could have disastrous effects on our nation. It could bring irreversible harm to our children and families. Not only loss of jobs, homes, and savings, but a loss of our spiritual values. Or we could fix it by changing our course and creating confidence in our future. We the people need to rise again to get involved, to bring back our United States to its former glory. We ask for your support by voting for decent, honest people on election day. And please donate today at writeindependent.org because anything is possible.